hi everyone i uh, hope you guys are doing well so today i'm going to talk about uh, one of the most popular classifiers in machine learning which is called random forest and bagging algorithms so i'm going to give you a demonstration uh, about how to perform this uh, classifiers using r so in order to do this random forest and bagging algorithms using R, I am going to use this random forest package. And also I am going to use this Boston data set. So in order to access the Boston data set, I need to use this mass package. So first I am going to install or I am going to use this, uh, I am going to import this uh, like uh, two packages into R. So then first we will have a look at uh, uh, on Boston data set. So if you use this str function, you will see that there are 506 observations uh, of 14 variables. So basically in this video, I'm going to fit a regression tree. So I'm going to use this MEGV as my predictor variable and all other variables I'm going to treat as my independent variables. So before doing anything, I am going to split the data into training and test. So first I am going to identify the indices that belongs to training data. So what I am going to do is I am going to choose a half of these 506 observations as my training data and the other half as my test data. So to do that, I am going to use my uh, a function called sample in R. So I am going to define train as sample from one to number of rows in Boston data set. And I'm going to choose the indices. I mean, I'm going to choose half of these indices as my training data and the other half as test data. So if you define the code like this, so this says that I'm going to uh, choose uh, half of the indices uh, from this 1 to 506 as my training data and the other half as my test data. So if we use this sample function to do this, then it will choose these indices randomly. Okay. So if I run this code and if I run this train code only, you will see uh, these are the indices that belongs to training data and the other half will uh, belongs to test data. Since uh, I think it's better, easier to uh, use the seed for this one, so, so in that case, I can easily reproduce this example. So I'm going to use my seed as one. Oops. So yeah. Okay. we will adjust this line like this okay let's go so then I'm going to uh, define this bagging object using random forest function so the first step is that you need to define the model so if you are familiar with the LM function in R which using uh, which use for fitting the linear models uh, so, so, yeah, so in that case, first you are going to do is first you have to define your dependent variable, then you have to use that symbol and after that you have to choose or uh, you have to type the independent variables. So you have to do the same thing in random first uh, function also. That means first you have to type your dependent variable, then you have to use this symbol and after that you have to specify um, the independent variables. So since I'm going to use all other variables and uh, as my independent variables, so in that case, you don't have to type all those variables. But, uh, so you can just type this dot. Uh, so this dot implies you, have, you are going to specify all other variables other than MEGV as your independent variable. Then you can type comma. Then you can define your data set. I'm going to define Boston data set. And I'm going to choose only the training data out of this Boston data set. So to do 
that I am going to use this subset function and the subset uh, should be equal to 20. Okay. Then after that you can define this m tri parameter. So, this m tri parameter is corresponding to the number of variables that you are going to split in each and every uh, split. So, since you are uh, fitting a bagging classifier, this m tri should be equal to 13 because in bagging classifier, we basically use all our variables uh, or all our in, uh, all, all the independent variables as uh, in each and every split. So, this m tri should be equal to 13. After that, you have to uh, define the number of trees that you are going to draw. So, in this example, I am going to draw 500 trees. Then you can uh, type this importance parameter. If this is true, then you are uh, later you will be able to get a plot or a table that uh, explaining the most important variables uh, in this classifier. All right. So let's run this code. And if you rerun this object, you will see uh, now we have grown 500 trees and number of variables try that is split is 30 and the percentage of variance explained uh, using this model is 86.91 uh, 86 percent. Okay. So, as I told you earlier, since I put this importance equals to, I can uh, get a table uh, that, uh, that describes the variables which are important. So, first, so in order to get that, uh, what you can do is you can type importance and under the parenthesis, you can type the object or the bagging object like this. So, here you can see based on this uh, table, you can see the highest decrease in MSC is corresponding to RM variable and the next uh, highest de uh, decrease in L MSC is corresponding to uh, and stat variable. So, you can see a similar kind of results using this uh, not purity uh, measure also you can see this not purity is highest for RM and N stat. So, it seems like these two variables are important uh, for uh, based on this classifier. You can get a plot of a variables important using this var in a plot function which is also inside this random forest function. So, if you type y in plot and inside this if you give you a bagging object like this and if you run this code over here, yeah, over here you will see the, the variables which are most important to the uh, classifier. You can see L stat and RM is quite separated. Uh, from other variables. So, so that implies uh, these two variables are much more important than the other variables in this uh, data set. All right. So, now I am going uh, here as my first step, I fitted my uh, bagging model. So, as my next step, what I am going to do is I am going to uh, obtain the fitted va values based on the test data. So, in order to do that, I am going to define this y hat dot back variable which corresponding to the fitted data. So, in order to get the fitted data, you can use this predict function. So, inside the predict function, first you have to give uh, the bagging uh, object that you have used. After that, you have to uh, give the observations that you are going to predict. So, you can do it using this new data parameter. So, this new data should be equal to the test data. So, in order to define the test data, what I can do is I can first give you the, the data frame like this and using the uh, square brackets, I can give you a uh, type like this, negative train and, uh, and I uh, also I need to type this comma over here. So, this implies this Boston dot train, Boston, and inside this, if you type it as negative train, that implies you are going to obtain all the rows of this Boston data set 
that is not equal to the training data. So, in other words, uh, this uh, Boston square bracket negative train implies the test data in your data set. So, if you run this code, you will be able to get the predictions based on the test data. After that, I am going to define uh, the response variable of this test data set using boston.test because uh, my ultimate goal is to identify uh, the mean square prediction error because this is a random forest, uh, sorry, bagging classifier for regression. So, in that case, in order to compare the models, you need to get the mean square error. So, in order to get the response variable of the test data, what I can do is, I can do a similar kind of thing like this. So, first you can type Boston over here, then you can use the square brackets like previously, then you can type negative train, then type comma and after that you can type your response variable. So, here I am going to write MEDEV like this, should be MEDEV. So, if you do like this, so this implies you are going to extract all the values of MEDV which belongs to the test data. Okay. So, this is my response of my test data. After that, I am going to find the mean square prediction error. Since this R is a vectorized language, so it will be much more easier to you uh, to use this vectorized mechanism using R. So, in order to get the prediction error, what I can do is I can run this code y hat dot bag minus Boston dot test. We have to because uh, basically the mean square prediction error means we have to first find the difference between uh, the true response and the predicted response then after that you have to square that and at the end you need to take the average of that one. So, first you have to take the difference then after that you have to take the square of that difference then you have to take the average value of that one. To, to find the average value of that one you can use this uh, mean function. Okay. So, if you run this code it will, yeah, it will give you some errors but uh, your mean square prediction error is equal to 13.44. So, this is your mean square prediction error if you uh, fit uh, a bagging classifier. So, now I am going to fit a random forest classifier using uh, for the same data. So, the procedure is quite similar. So, first I am going to use this random forest bagging code which is over here. So, I am going to rename this one as RF dot Boston and my uh, variable uh, my model should be the same and the only difference is here M try. So, this M try in random forest should be are less than or equal to 30. So, if it is 30 that means, if it is equal to the all the independent variables, then it, it will uh, be a bagging classifier, but in random forest classifier, the number of variables that you are going to split should be less than uh, this independent variables. So, as a rule of thumb, I am going to choose this m try as the number of independent variables divided by 3. So, that is equal to roughly uh, 4.33. So, that implies I am going to choose this m try as 4 and I am going to uh, grow 500 trees here also. So, if I run this code and if I run this object rf.boston, you will see now number of trees that we have grown is 500 and number of variables that we have tried that we split is 4 and the a percentage of variance explained is 84.24. So, I think earlier using uh, bagging classifier, 
uh, we have explained around 86.91 variance okay so in order to get the mean square prediction error i can repeat the same stuff uh, for this rf boston rf dot boston object so what i can do is i can define a new variable which is equal to y hat dot rf and i am going to give my object as my random first object and the new data is uh, is still same which is the test data of the boston data set so after that i am going to define uh, the test response of the boston data set which is still the same variable then you can uh, find the mean square prediction error so here you have to give y hat dot rf because that is your uh, that object will include the predictions based on the random forest minus your actual response okay so if i run this code so now you can see the mean square prediction error is i mean it has decreased uh, from uh, something from around 13 to something around 12. So that means based on this data set, uh, based on this data set, a random forest seems to be a much better classifier because uh, it leads to a much more reduction in MSC corresponding to a bagging classifier. All right. So this is about uh, fitting a regression tree based on random forest classifier and a bagging classifier. So in my next video, I'm going to explain how to fit a classification tree uh, using this random forest and bagging classifier. So if you think uh, this video is useful to you, uh, please uh, put a like on my video. And if you want to see more videos like this in future, uh, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.